In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to reduce or get rid of lag spikes from your PS5 network connection. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to the settings cogwheel in the top right corner. Once we're here, we're going to go to network, then we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to set up internet connection. Now select your network and press the options button on your controller. And the first thing I recommend you change is actually Wi-Fi frequency bands. So if your PS5 is close to your router, you want to use 5 gigahertz as it's the fastest Wi-Fi speed, albeit can be a little bit less stable if your console's far away from your router. Now, if your console is far away from your router, you want to use 2.4 gigahertz. Speed's going to be a little bit slower, but you're going to have a more stable connection. And if you're not exactly sure, go with automatic, and I always recommend that you use a wired connection. So the next thing we're going to do is go to advanced settings. Once we're here, the first thing we're going to be taking a look at is DNS settings. So this will likely be on automatic when you get to it and you want to click on it and go to manual. Now here I have the Google DNS, which primary DNS is 8.8.8.8. .8 the secondary DNS is 8.8.4.4. .8 .4. Now, another really great DNS is the Cloudflare DNS, and it's actually rated number one by NordVPN, and that is 1.1.1.1. So give these both a shot and see if it helps with your lag spikes. And the secondary DNS is 1.0.0.1. So give these both a shot, go to OK once you're done. And well, actually, before you do that, let's change one more thing here, which might help. We're actually going to be going to MTU settings. So this will likely be on automatic. And if you're experiencing latency or ping issues, this can actually help fix it. So we're gonna to go to MTU settings. We're gonna to go to manual. And by default, it's going to be on the value 1500. So this is good for users with fast and stable internet connections, but if you're experiencing some issues with latency, I recommend you change this to 1473. Give that a shot, see if it helps. If you're still having issues, you could also try lowering this to 1450, which is for people who are having troubles with packet loss as well as connection drops. Now, me personally, I have a pretty decent internet connection, so I'm gonna leave it on 1500. But if you're experiencing any of those issues, try 1473 first. If you're still having problems, try 1450. So once you've done all of that, we're gonna go to OK. And this is going to connect to our internet just to make sure everything's all fine and dandy here. And once this is finished, it's just a matter of going and testing out those games where you've been experiencing lag spikes or issues like that. So hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.